guys, I am back with a requested video, a pretty highly requested video, and that is how I keep my car organized. Now, a little disclaimer here, I don't store like a terribly large amount of things in my car because A, I hate cluttered cars, I just, I can't stand it, and B, I don't have kids at the moment. I have a dog and a lot of the things in my car are for my dog, Winnie, if you know who Winnie is. Of course, I have a link to her stuff in the bottom bar description bar always if you're interested, curious. Um, but I feel like when you have kids you just have a lot more going on in your car. So that might be an update at some point in the future if and when that happens. No comment there. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna take you through my car and show you how I keep it organized. Um, I love my car. I like to keep it as clean as possible, but it's also a car and I use it and I don't, I'm not afraid to use, use it so it doesn't have to be pristine all the time. But uh, without further ado, let's go in and I'll give you a little look at how I organize my car. Here I'm going to show you how I organize my car. It's just parked here in the garage. I'm just going to take you through the car and show you all the organizational components. So in the back here, I try to keep it as empty as possible. I have one of these collapsible bins from the container store. I believe it was about $15. I bought this about five years ago, but I have had, I've, I mean, I've seen these in the stores since, maybe not in this exact color, but I have seen them. And basically you can see I have a huge, huge collection of reusable bags. I am a, in big favor of reusable bags. Um, it doesn't say that sometimes I don't get a shopping bag, but to the stores I frequent most often, including Whole Foods, Target, and Trader Joe's and the Container Store, those are the stores that I always bring my own bags into. Um, and you'll actually see I have reusable bags throughout my entire car, um, as well as I always have a spare in my purse. But I like just to keep them in the car most of the time, and when I know I'm going to be needing more room in the trunk, I can just pull this out, which I'm going to do right now, and I'll show you how I just put it on top of our wood pile that's like right where behind my where I parked my car in the garage. So here you can see I just pulled that bin out and that's where I keep it if I know I'm going to be needing space in the garage and not needing that bin per se, but it does live in my car about 95% of the time. These other elements in the trunk here stay in all the time. I have a, a second spare umbrella. You'll see my first spare my first umbrella's in the front, but just in case I have a passenger or somebody else with me who needs an umbrella of their own. A microfiber towel to wipe down the car after I go through the drive through car wash because I find those dryers never stay. And then the car actually has this part that lifts, lifts off and that area is traditionally where you would put a spare tire. I have a car that has specialty tires called run flats, so they don't actually give you a spare tire with your car, nor do they really recommend you have one. The car can run something like 50 miles before needing attention on the run flats, even if it has a flat tire. I don't really understand what that means, I just follow the safety protocol that the people um, who sold, uh, who leased me the car, this car's leased, um, told me to do. So that's why there's no tire there, but I think a lot of cars you would have find a tire there. But, um, these items did come with the car. They're just some items, a screwdriver there and some other things. And then I have a old towel, a rag of sorts. This is an empty water bottle that's meant for dogs. It has this, um... Oh gosh, I don't know if I can... There we go. This kind of uh, top that Winnie drinks out of the little ball where the water, water just drips out when the dogs drink it. I have a blanket I got at the Botanic Gardens many years ago. And a couple extra paper bags. Just in case. Um, these are just sort of like emergency... Sorry about the poor lighting. Uh, items that I might need every once in a while, but not frequently. So there's that. And that is all I keep in the trunk on any given day. I keep the back seat pretty clear. I don't really keep anything in the sides here or in the pockets. I'm sure when I have kids that will all change. But, you know, I'm usually the only one in the car most of the time. So that's how I have it organized. Um, 
This car is really comfortable in the back seat, very roomy. I do have another one of these collapsible um, soft-sided bins from the container store that I keep in the car just like as with the uh, bin that you saw in my trunk that has the reusable bags. Um, this I only pull out when I know I'm going to be having people in the car or need to load big things in it. So it stays in the car about 95% of the time. And it's just basic items, a lot for Winnie and some things for myself that every once in a while I need. So I have a um, beach towel and this has many purposes but mostly it's when I take Winnie on a walk when we're out in the car. We've driven somewhere to go for the walk, and then she gets damp either by walking through damp grass or if it rains. I'll drape this, I'll wipe her off with this, and then I'll drape this over her car seat, which you see up there, to keep that protected. Then I have, this is a, like a dog, doggy carrier that kind of looks like a purse. Um, in the event that I need to run into a store with her, so I have this bag in here. I also have a spare windbreaker. Um, this comes in handy if I want to take it for a walk or just get chilly or something and I'm unprepared. I have a little purse, this is by Sherpani, that's sort of a, a backup dog walking bag. Um, I did a video on dog walking bag on Winnie's channel, Winnie the Zoo Tube, if you're interested. And this just has, you know, her dog, um, do poopy bags and Kleenex and wet wipes and things like that. And it's great to take when I uh, want to take her for a walk, but I don't want to carry like a shoulder bag or something, my purse, whatever. I'll just put my purse in the trunk and take, put my keys and wallet in that and take that because it goes over crossbody style. I have an old, old pair of sunglasses. This is just basically if I forget my sunglasses and need a, you know, something to drive in. Um, if it's sunnier than I expected or whatever. Um, so I don't wear those very often. They're just sort of back up. I have a couple more reusable bags, you'll see. I have one small um, paper bag, just in case I need to throw something in and give to somebody. And then this is actually a bag that I got when I bought something at Apple at some point, but it, it's the kind of bag that kind of turns into a backpack. Um, and it's a really nice quality bag, so I saved it and keep it in my car in the event that I would need to haul something that might make it easier. You know, better safe than sorry. And then I just have all of my um, Bed Bath & Beyond coupons I just keep in here in this bin all clipped together if I need to run to the store because I usually just forget them if I'm going to um, go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't, you know always remember to take them so that's why I like to leave them in in there and there's nothing in the end of the car there but um, like I said that bin pulls out and I'll just put it on the fire wood um, when I don't want it in the car um, so that's all I keep in the back then in the front this probably has the most stuff um, I'm going to actually walk around and show you Winnie's car seat on that side and well I guess I can show you from this side. So this is Winnie's car seat. It's from Snoozer Pet Products I think. I'll put the link below. It's called a Luxury Lookout 2. Um, it's like a microfiber kind of suede Im imitation fabric and you probably can't see but it has her name monogrammed on it. I've had this for two and a half years now. She likes to rest on this ledge, so it has, um, you can see it's pushed out a bit. But um, this is a great thing because first of all, it puts her up at window seat, window level so she can see out the car, which I think will help with car sickness. My dog does not tend to car sickness, but I think it just helps in general. It buckles in, and then I have her safety harness connected to it, and this is by Kurgo. Um, and Winnie's in the size small, and I think this is a small bed. Um, I just have a couple of toys that live in here for her, um, and it's, sorry about the focusing, there it goes, pretty self-explanatory. This comes with a drawer uh, in it, which is nice. So I have a backup leash and collar with tags, poopy bags, um, I have a little baggie of things to fix her hair, beauty first. Um, back of poopy bags in the back and then I usually have a little travel water um, spout kind of thing for her but I actually left that somewhere and I 
I haven't gotten it back yet, but that usually lives in here too, so I can give her water in the car. Winnie drinks from a water stand, not a dish. So if she was the kind of dog who drank from a dish, I would probably leave a backup dish in there, but this is like a water spout kind of thing instead. Um, and then the only thing I have over on the passenger side, sorry about the darkness, are baby wipes. Like I said, when Winnie, um, when I take Winnie for a walk where we've been in the car and we've driven somewhere to go for a walk, um, I just real big on always wiping her feet, her paws down whenever we've gone on a walk, home or away or wherever. So um, I just use one wipe, wipe all four paws. And that keeps her from licking her feet and accidentally getting a bug or something or, you know, something icky. And also keeps my car and house clean. Then over here we have the... Oh, what do we call this? I'm, I'm suddenly blanking. Glove compartment. That's right. So I have pretty standard things in my glove compartment, I think. I'll just pull them out and show you. Of course, I keep a stack of napkins. Always comes in handy. Even with the baby wipes and tissues and things, I always have extra napkins. This is the um, owner's manual and stuff that came with the car. I keep an updated version of my registration and uh, car insurance information here, as well as phone numbers for the dealership and, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I have feminine products, which I'm not going to show you, but I like to have back up those. A pad of paper and a pen, just in case. Um, oh, this is like a flat Swiss Army knife tool that has different things in it. A little knife, a file, some scissors, tweezers, that sort of stuff. You never know when that could come in handy. A tire pressure gauge. This is actually really cool. This is a wind-up flashlight. So I do have a normal battery-operated flashlight. This is a mag light. Um, but this is great because in case your batteries go out and you're stuck somewhere and you don't have lights or it's dark or whatever, this you just wind and it lights up. Um, and it's a really nice light for a wind-up light. And this is from L.O. Bean. And I have this. I have one of these in the trunk as well. I, I don't think I mentioned that. It's in the trunk down in that compartment where I had the blanket and that water bottle. And then one in Don's car as well. And I think that's it. Yeah, there's a screwdriver in the trunk, so I don't have a screwdriver um, up here. But I'm going to put those things away, and then I'll continue the tour. So everything's back in. I'm just going to close it. Then I will show you the center console, which is probably where I keep most of the things. Um, of course I have an EOS lip balm that lives in here permanently in that one little spot. I have an iPod. It connects into my car um, and it plays through the audio of the car which is really nice so I just leave that in here. It's one I've had for many many years. It's one of the classic ones. Then I have some snacks and kind of more usable items. I have some hard candy, a couple kind bars. I like to keep kind bars in my car because they don't melt if it's hot. Pens and pencils and Sharpies. Um, a whole bunch of Truvia packets in case I go to the Starbucks or something. This is a hairbrush. It's one of those um, travel kind that pop out. Hand sanitizer. Hand lotion, number one. <laughs> Two different kinds of gum. These are little sticky notes. These are by Laura, Laura Lily Pulitzer in different sizes, which can come in handy. These are some um, wipes for face or hands. Uh, I have a lip product and a little thing of Advil. And I have, sorry it's dark, I have a hair claw, and just in case. Um, Hand cream number two. This is hand cream number three. This is Nivea. This little tin has treats for Winnie. Colgate wisps in case I want to brush my teeth on the go. A travel pack of Kleenex just in case. I have a runny nose and need to run out of my purse or something and need a, a new pack. I have um, a key to Aunt Julie's house. And that's where Winnie goes when she's, um, you know, puppy sitting. And these are the keys to my mailbox, my P.O. box for YouTube. And I think that's basically all that's in there. And I don't use any, like, containers or anything in here. It's such a small, narrow space. And I don't keep, like, terribly tiny things in there, so I think it's okay. As is. 
And then the last part of the organizational component is the driver's side. I do keep items in the um, door little area here. This is my, I love this umbrella. I got this at J. Crew so, so long ago, probably, probably in about 2006 or 2005 even. This is, um, it's got the cutest little, it's a yellow umbrella with little blue whales. I love this umbrella. I have just one other thing in that part. Oh, there goes my umbrella. Just a backup poopy bag, just in case I need to grab one real fast. I have, these are um, Kleenex made for the car, um, which is a really nice design. It fits really well into this side thing. It's my eye pass. I don't often go on the tri-state, but that's when I need to pay the toll. This is a mix that a friend made for me that I just keep in here as kind of a backup music option. It's also on my iPod, but in, in the case that I don't have my iPod, I have this French um, like CD learning thing that once in a while I play. I just keep it in here just, just to keep it in my ear. I don't really listen to it all that often. It's sort of like basic French. And then I have a whole bunch of maps. Now my car does have GPS, which is great, but sometimes you just you just need a traditional map. So I have one for the North Shore, which is sort of the northern suburbs of Chicago. One for Chicago. One for Illinois. And I think I got I got these like a really long time ago, probably about seven years ago. I think I got these at Barnes and Noble, and then one for the United States that I just got from AAA. Oh, and I do have my AAA card in the center console as well. Again, even though I'm part of a program with the car dealership that has like its own why can't I get this back in here rescue kind of thing or service help whatever. Um, I, I still am a triple A member because you just never know. Oh, and then I have one of these little um, scent clips from Bath and Body Works. This is really old. I don't think it smells anymore, but um, <laughs> I need to put a new thing in it. And that is my entire car, car organization. Oh, and I just wanted to show you one last thing. So I have this bin here. And this would normally live where you see this big stack of stuff over here. I mean, that's all stuff going to Goodwill, actually, in just a couple of days. I'm very excited to have that all picked up. So that'll all be cleared out of my garage, and that'll be open space once again. But um, this usually lives over there. This is a bin that I keep with my things I want to return or things that I need to deal with that require me to take them in my car. But I don't want to just leave a whole bunch of stuff in my car. I hate having a cluttered car. So mostly it's returns um, to stores and I have them diff you know, in different bags. And then those two things are posters I want to have framed. So I need to take those with me next time I'm at the framer shop. But I just like keeping things in this bin because I know to look at it before I'm going to the mall or to Target or something in the event that I need to return something in there. Otherwise, I just tend to forget. Even if I leave things in the car, I tend to forget. Um, but having the bin somehow helps me. Um, Remember, and like I said, that's usually right there, which is right by my door, and that is everything. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you, as I said before, you know, I don't have a lot of things in there because I feel like when you have kids or you drive, um, like have a business in your where you drive in your car or, or delivering things, or I just feel like you would keep more things in your car if that were the case, but. I don't know, some, some of you thought this might be interesting to see just how I keep my car organized and what I keep in there. Whoa. I don't know what that is. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back soon with some other request. What the heck? Okay. I don't know what's going on today. Uh, I'm running out of battery, so I gotta wrap this up. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the total weirdness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back next Friday or Saturday with a new video on Organize Like Jen. Until then, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you soon. All right, take care, you guys. Bye.